Silver Surfer is here, and I've got to be totally honest with you guys, this card is absolutely fantastic. I have been absolutely crushing guys all night playing Silver Surfer, and I've got five amazing day one decks for you guys to try and experiment, some of which I think are actually really amazing and creative. In fact, one of the best decks I've ever crafted, and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. But for those that are, might be new, Silver Surfer is an unrevealed card that gives your other three cost cards plus three power not impacting itself this is really interesting because it's not an ongoing it's not a reveal which benefits you playing it on turn six which makes one card that you really want to have sarah now before we get into that what i want to talk about here is i'm going to show you guys five different deck lists we have the silver disrupt the silver value we have the silver six bro discard which is an absolutely mind-boggling deck i'm so proud of it we have the silver wong surfer amazing name and we have silver negative so we have five individual decks for you okay guys let's talk about it so basically we have the silver disrupt this deck is all about making life difficult for your opponent we have Iceman. we've got viper and the way, reason why you have viper is because you got electro you actually drop electro and then you kick it onto the other side right now if you're in a situation where like you're like hey alex I want to keep Electro. That's a terrible idea because you actually have Sarah as well. You don't want Electro to come out and actually negatively impact your game. You want to play Electro on three. You want to kick it over with the Viper on four. You play the Sarah on five. And then on turn six, you have so much additional mana. It's actually pretty damn interesting. However, it's also worth knowing that this is a very experimental list. And sometimes playing Viper on four can feel very awkward. So make some adjustments as you see fit. However, you do have the Cosmo, you have the Debris, and Debris is also great because you can kick over the rocks with the Viper, of course. Juggernaut is a disruptive play that you can utilize Storm, and then obviously Killmonger takes out all the ones. It's a very interesting list, but one of the lists that I think is even stronger, this one was interesting. But I thought the value list was actually very impressive. The reason why this worked was because, again, you want to make it so that you're playing the Silver Surfer on turn six often. So Sarah becomes of an immense value. The reason for this is because if you have a lot of three cost cards, that allows you to play three of them on turn six because Sarah drops the value by one. So they all cost two, six, six mana on turn six three cards fantastic sarah is an absolute staple in these decks i also think that okoye works really well in this list as well however it's worth noting that in my my voice is giving out because i've been streaming all night but my um my testing showed that domino was actually a really good card in this list as well so if you don't want to play okoye you can play domino However, it's worth noting that Okoye works really well with Brood, giving you a lot of value on the Broodlings themselves, so that's why perhaps, uh, you know, you want to play Okoye, but if you find it inconsistent, Domino's excellent as well. Again, you have the Sarah Closer, Maximus, just huge value, Polaris gives you a lot of value and also lets you disrupt their board, while well, you have the Storm, Juggernaut, and Groot! Groot is actually good in these lists because Groot with the Silver Surfer becomes a 3-9. And the nice thing about Groot is you can play him on turn 6 with Sarah because you can better predict where the opponent's going to play their cards because they have fewer options on turn 6. Groot is good with Silver Surfer. It's absolutely insane how good Groot is. So this is a good value list. Also, you obviously want to get Bishop out early because you're zooming so many cards out consistently. Then we have the Silver 6 Bro discard list. This one is for you guys that really want to challenge yourselves. This list, I know you're looking at it, you're like, Alex, I am so confused. What is this? All right. So basically, here's how it works. You have the Invisible Woman because you want to protect yourself from discarding your Hela with the discard mechanics of Hellcow, Hela, and others, uh, including uh, Moon Knight. Also, it's worth noting that you might be thinking, Alex, you have a discard list? Without Swordmaster, why wouldn't you use Swordmaster? Well, the reason why we're not using Swordmaster is because he's a three and a six, which means that he would get hit by Silver Surfer and he would screw up the Cerebro. So that's why we can't use Swordmaster. But basically the way it works is this. With Silver Surfer knocking only once, all these cards become sixes. Sixes, 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 sixes. And then what happens is the only cards that don't get hit by Silver Surfer are Hellcow, who's a six, Captain Marvel, who's a six, and Hella, who's a six. The result is that Cerebro buffs the entire damn board. And the nice thing about it is if you discard Cerebro and bring it back with Hella, you get the benefit of it. It's one of the reasons why Mystique can't work in this list, because like you can't reliably play Mystique with Hella. 
but this list is insane even angela with the nerf is actually a buff for this list because as a two zero if you put three cards on her she's a six two this list is so tight and like i literally watched a captain marvel fly around and just crush the game because of the buffs being provided by cerebro cerebro captain marvel guys this list has serious potential it's a little interesting to play like it's a little out there like in terms of its design but this is a really cool list that I've not seen anyone else do. This is literally some OC content. And if you want to really try and experiment with something wild, you've got to try this list, okay? I had so much fun with this list. It was crazy. And then we've got Silver Wong Surfer. This deck is actually pretty damn cool. And there's a couple different win conditions here. Now, the first thing you have to understand is that with Wong being a four cost, obviously it doesn't get impacted by the Silver Surfer. However, there's also an important thing to understand as well that you cannot play Wong, Mystique, and Sarah in conjunction with each other smoothly because Sarah is a five cost card and the result is you have to play Sarah on five, which is what you're going to want to do. However, it's worth noting that if you play Wong on four, if you play Sarah on five, you can't play Mystique because then you're copying the Sarah effect on six, which is totally useless. If you do not draw the Sarah, you play Wong on four, Mystique on five, and then what you can do is you double play a uh, turn six play with Silver Surfer and another card of your choice. That is the beautiful part about this deck. If you don't draw the Sarah and you don't draw the Wong, you have these options that you can kind of move with. You roll with the punch a little bit with how you utilize Mystique, who gets the benefit of Silver Surfer. So this deck tends to be very um, kind of uh, flexible in its win condition on turn six. You either do the Wong Mystique on turn five, or you do Wong into Sarah and just pump out as much value as you can with a three with a three card play on turn six. Either way, Wong Silver Surfer here, I think is actually a really interesting list. And again, you can actually make some adjustments as well with other three costs. But I find myself having a lot of success here, particularly with Groot. I was often surprised with how Groot good Groot was. And obviously with Storm, Juggernaut is a good choice as well. Finally, we have the Silver Negative list. This one might be the actual strongest. This one might be the one with the most high-end gameplay potential because it just works so nicely. You have the Psylocke in order to get, get out the Mr. Negative nice and early. If you don't pull negative, you can get Wong out early, still very valuable. You can even Psylocke into Sarah if it's in your hand. Psylocke has so many good targets here, it's insane. But ultimately, you want to get negative out. Negative is great because not only does it work good with Brood and everyone basically here, but you have the Wong. The Wong is great as well because it works wonderfully with Silver Surfer. It works wonderfully with Ironheart. And again, you have a situation where with Sarah on turn six, you could play three of these three cost cards. You want as many three cost cards as you can. In fact, one can make the argument that you could actually remove Angela from this list. But in these negative zoo style lists, Angela's actually really good. And the amazing thing about it is a negative Angela is a zero cost two, which really ramps up effectively. Bishop, an excellent card as well. Every single card here is like amazing and it does its job in the negative list. And what's crazy about it is even if you do not pull negative and you don't play negative with Brood and with Mystique, Wong, Sarah, Silver Surfer, like you still, even without negative, the deck works, which is insane. Even without Mr. Negative coming down, the deck still works. That's what's wild about this list. And I think it's literally one of the best lists out there right now. And as you can see, I'm not using any series four or five cards, nothing crazy. These are pool, it's, it is pretty heavy pool three, obviously, but like I'm trying to keep things realistic for you guys. These lists are actually pretty damn legit. And I would love if you join us on Twitch TV, guys. We have an absolute blast. And these highlight clips you're gonna catch were just recorded just before I recorded this because we were having so much fun and I wanted to share these new builds with you guys. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. It really supports the series. And I hope you enjoy these absolutely amazing gameplay highlights. This gamer has Titan. Oh, Hawkeye, eh? Who the hell plays Hawkeye? Now, unfortunately, this doesn't actually help because it's the location that matters, but. Wow, this gamer plays two cards. Including Iceman. Hits the Wolfsbane. Damn. Well, that's all one cost cards, dude. Snap. I guess I just blow this guy's hand up. We Wong, we Mystique. 
Oh my god, this is gonna be gross. If we actually pull this combo off, we also have Odin in our hand. Nice play, Electra. Yikes! Got the Wong. Imagine we don't pick up Silver Surfer. How sad would that be? Please draw Silver Surfer. We have Kamar Taj. We have Wong. We have Mystique. Please. There it is. Let's go. Just ruin this guy's hand. It's truly a shame that Wolfsbane got wrecked, but we are going to pump this guy's... Oh, he only has one card in his hand. But it's going to get hit a whole bunch of times. Okay, there you go. Plays Iron Man. Iron Dude, Man. you gotta win other lanes, bud! What are you doing? Is this guy, this God Gamer, he's like, I'm gonna rely on Dr. Doom. But buddy, I'm playing Silver Surfer right now. No, 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 no. I'm gonna clap. I'm gonna sauce out your boy, Rhino. And then I'm gonna Silver Surfer. Let's go, gamers! We are absolutely gonna clap this noob! There is no way that he beats us. You think hard about yourself, man. You think hard about what you've done. Silver Surfer is surfing. Look at this gamer. Look at this. Have you seen anything so beautiful in your entire life? Okay, this guy is just... All right, so apparently Warren is a drunk bot. So I feel kind of bad that I hit the horns and everything, but also I think I'm gonna include this video on YouTube because I just proxed Silver Surfer like eight times. So thanks bot, I guess. We don't have negative in our hand yet, but we're gonna play the Psylocke in the anticipation. Now, if we don't pull, here's the thing. We could sneak Sarah out by playing Psylocke on turn three. Which kind of is beneficial as well. Stark Tower. But I really want that negative. We do have Wong. So either way, if we do the Psylocke into Wong, it still gives us some value here. It's worth playing Wong here, I think. Yeah, it's still worth playing Wong. We play the Wong. Ain't nothing Wong with that. Wolfsbane triggers nicely into Wong as well. We want the Silver Surfer play, obviously. We probably just tempo out Wolfsbane here, honestly. He plays Wave. It's gonna allow us to play the uh the Sarah. Which is nice. We don't have a good solution for the uh the Shuri's lab here. We got negative. We have to play negative here. We really have no choice. Cause the draw is so important. So we have to play negative. We play Sarah next turn. Lol. Oh, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh no, buddy, what'd you do to your deck? Oh no, what a gamer this guy. Did you want that? Is that what you wanted to do? Was that your game plan? Bruh. Was that your plan? Because if it was, my friend, it was a bad plan. Sunspot comes out on Shuri's lab, not much value. Sarah comes out for us. That is the definition of value. All systems go. Plus two's coming out here for Psylocke and the Wong. And we've got ourselves a few solid cards. The snap comes down on us, which is fine. Iron. Angela, Iron Man. Brood. Iron, Iron Heart, Wolfsbane, mid. Snap. He plays Odin. Reprox wave. Reprox leader as well. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I am Iron Man. I'm not gonna get enough from Shuri's lab. Ooh, tied it! I was not expecting that. Oh my god! Let's go, gamers! What a win!
Can you guys believe what we just did? Let's go! It's almost like we know what we're doing. So we really can't play anywhere, apparently. Clap that man's cheeks. We try to clap some cheeks every once in a while, you know? Gotta get those dubs somehow, folks. Westview? Man, I don't want that. Um, I, I don't want to just play Cerebro here. Okay, I play Moon Knight for the memes, I guess. Let's Moon Knight. Let's see what we hit from this guy's hand. Mom said this is my last game. I like that title. It's actually funny. So this gamer plays Ironheart. Oh, the Captain Marvel discard into the knock. Ah, oh, knock just sucks. Okay, whatever. It's ruins. It's ruins. What if I ruin the ruin? Ah, uh, no. I cannot play Hellcow right now. Hellcow would be absolute madness. You want me to? S Why am I snapping though? God, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna. You guys have me snapping. I don't know why. Okay, it's like a. It's like a 50-50 if Hellcow completely trolls me. I can't do it. I can't do it. If we, if we discard Hell, this game is as good as done. We just play Rhino here. Cerebro turn five. We do this. He plays Lockjaw. This guy's like, who the hell's playing Rhino? What? Imagine being a good enough player to remember what you discarded. The real gamer would want to discard Cerebro right now. That's what a true gamer would do. A true gamer, it's Captain Marvel, that's right, so we actually have a good card. Okay, true gamers, go for the discard play. The only one that can't get hits Hella. The only one that can't get hits Hella. But the problem is, if, if Hella gets hit, this game is as good as, as good as done. We should win this look. we're Silver Surfer. No, no, we go for it right. We're going Hellcow, we're going for the glory. Not Hella. This gamer just played Mr. Negative on turn five. Pulls magic. Oh my god, what? This gamer's blessed, not Hella. Oh, oh. Let's go! I think I Hella right now. I think I just Hella right now. Right? I think I just Hella right now. Hella right now gives me options. I play Hella here, because I'm restricted here. She probably ends up filling this location. We just Hella now. Captain Marvel, Cerebro. Look at that board, man. All the six is taken over, because of course we don't have the Silver Surfer. Come on. Let's go! Oh my god, this is gonna be the easiest clap of all time. I am so confident this win. We're getting the music going. This is six bro silver surfer discard on the way. Let's go. I am Iron Man. This gamer swaps Iron Man, brings Jubilee, it's a full deck. White Tiger comes down. It's not enough gamers! Oh, Iron Man comes back! But we still win the game. Let's go. All right, we got Angela. Let's go. Atlantis. I like Atlantis. Ooh, we got the Psylocke. Oh, it's so perfect. So perfect. We're not gonna... We're gonna... Atlantis doesn't matter anyway. Atlantis does not matter anyway. Not for us. Not for this list. We just negative here. Keep it all in the same spot. Cyclops, what a gamer. This is a Patriot list for sure if I've ever seen one. Okay, we got Mystique, nice. Yeah, we just play Angela here and we wait. There's a Patriot. Imagine if we had Rogue. Ro this is where Rogue would have been so spicy, by the way. So we play, we play Sarah here. This is like, we're giving mid. We're basically just giving mid right now. Which is fine. We don't need mid. We got the Wong. We got Mystique. We got Silver Surfers. We have a full combo here. This is going to get pretty wild here. Those come out for free. We don't necessarily have the card draw, but we can play the... The Wolfsbane onto the Angela, perhaps. 
we're actually in this weird situation where we don't have a lot of pressure on either lane yet. We're kind of mid. Go left, go left, go left. Ah, mid sucks. Okay. This lane doesn't get hit by Silver Sir. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. Brood is perfect. So what we can do here... We can actually play completely on the Angelo, which is great. So what we do is this. We Brood. We Wolfsbane. We Wong. We Mystique. We Silver Surfer. Guys, it's like it's a dream made in heaven. How could it get any easier? We snap on this fool. Right? We snap on this fool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to absolutely clap him. We're going to get the music going. We're going to get the confetti, the confetti raining. And we're going to absolutely clap this noob. He drops the Doctor Doom. Patriot Doom bots get the buff. Brood comes out. Wolfsbane drops, gets the buff. And then on the left side, Wong into the Mystique. And then finally, the absolute reckoning of Silver Surfer is going to buff the entire board, winning left and right, giving mid, just like we planned the entire time. Let's go. Absolutely easy clap. It does not get any easier than this. Look at this magic. It was never in question. Never in question. There was no doubt that we were going to win that game.